You may not think about beef as a fun and easy meal for your kids, but chances are this recipe will have them asking for more. Here in the studio to show us how you can turn steak into a bite-sized meal that's perfect for kids is NCBA chef Laura Hagen of the Culinary Innovations team. Laura, thanks for coming back to the show. Absolutely, thanks. You, you know, one of my constant pet peeves in our industry is it doesn't seem like we've ever had a real response to the poultry industry's chicken nuggets that kids right. just love. But it looks like you've got something for us here. Tell well, us about we it. we think we found the answer. Um, obviously, we all love beef. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to find a cut that we could use to make a nugget of sorts mm -hmm. and make it really super easy, make it fun for kids to do with their families, sure. and simple, simple, easy to cook. So what I have here is cube steak. Oh, okay. Some cube steak in the store. Sure. It's actually a really nice cheaper alternative to yeah. a, a standard sirloin or, or right. other steak and it has some tenderization to it so you have a cheaper cut but it's tenderized yes. so you have a good chew to it as good. well. So when it cooks, yeah. it cooks really fast and it uh, ends up um, being quite tender. Yeah. So what I've set up here is a dredging station. Okay. So whenever you're doing anything that's breaded, you okay. should set up this little station. Ah. Um, usually people will use like a shallow bowl. Okay. Um, if you have something that's flat, like maybe a, a, a bigger steak or something along that lines, if you're doing country fried steak, sure. we're doing these little bites. So I just put them in Small deeper bowls. bowls. Yeah. Sure. So I'm just going to take a couple, show you how we okay. do it. First, we put it in flour. That's just regular flour. Regular all-purpose flour. Yeah, good. And what I like to do is I like to do the wet dry rule. Oh. So with this hand, and you, obviously I have gloves on, so yep. I'm not getting too goopy, but um, I like to do um, the left hand dry okay. and the right hand wet. Ah, okay. So we don't get so goopy. So as you're doing multiple batches of these, you, you don't end up with batter yep. in the uh, flour. So I'm going right? to take this and I'm going to stick that in Perfect. there. Yeah gingerly and then I'll use my right hand. Okay. And that's just, uh, you just beat up uh, eggs? It is two eggs that we've just beaten up. Yep. Sounds terrible to say it that way, but uh, whipped. <laughs> we've whipped them. That's right. We want to be uh, very cautious not to beat eggs. All and right. Obviously I'm going to put this in with my wet hand, but then I'm going to take it out with my dry hand. Okay. So we pop it there. And what do we have here? This is actually potato chips. Oh, you're kidding. We took those ridged potato chips sure. and just broke them down. You can put them into a uh, Ziploc. Sure. Run Just a rolling pin it. over them or beat them with your fist or oh, however yeah. you want to do it. Yeah, that's perfect. And this is what we've come up with. It's a Meat really and potatoes simple. right there. Yep. They go onto a broiling pan. Okay. These come with every oven that consumers have at home. Mm -hmm. And we put a little bit of Pam spray. Okay. We put them in um, on the broiler pan like this. You can line it with foil, which is kind of nice, real sure. easy to clean underneath. Okay. And then it goes into... Um, the broiler. Mm -hmm. So I like to do it on a high broil, so it's you know, getting up there in temperature, 500 or so. For about how long then? These ones took six minutes. Oh, is that all? Yeah, so, so really, quick really too. quick. Mm -hmm. Really quick. And so there is our finished product yeah. there. We've and, got and, and you're calling these popcorn steak bites? Steak bites, yes. I need to try one of these. That's. And you have ketchup there, mm -hmm. but you can use mustard, you can use barbecue sauce, ranch dressing, whatever you'd like to, That's perfect. to have, whatever the kids like. Fun, quick, and easy. Great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. For this recipe and other great beef recipes, just log on to our website at cattleman2cattleman.org.